I'm gonna play the Untitled Goose Game mod thing for for Friday Night Funkin'. So that that should be fun. It it will be fun. I'm I assure you. Ah, uh, good old goose. Good old goose. Blyfin's just like, whatever. Three, two, one, He's like, if this means a rap battle, then let's do it. I got the good old to-do list covering the screen. That won't stop me. So I have already played um, the Untitled Goose Game mod on stream before, but I felt like uh, recording a quick video to uh, post it on my channel and stuff and just show that this is a cool mod and you should definitely go play it. Because it's very adorable, silly, goofy, and all that kind of stuff. Like the original Untitled Goose game, you know? Oh yeah, and then it shows like these almost like comic panel kind of stuff. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is four songs total, three in the story mode, and then there's an extra one in free play. Oh, and as you can see, the the goose is literally stealing the the note bar here and there, and so I have to press space bar to get it back. It's very, it's very creative. I really like it. It's good, and and I know the extra song in um in the free play mode also does some cool mechanic stuff. Ah, uh, goddamn it! The space bar made me uh, miss a note. I mean, that's completely on me, but I forgot. Oh, crap! Come on! I, I like, pressed spacebar, but then he took it again right before. Like that. That's... God damn it. I gotta pay more attention. like whoa and then he steals the hat and then he's like whoa you can't steal the hat and see now the to-do list is completely covering it but that is okay, that does not stop me. Cause if you're actually someone, or no, like if you've played enough rhythm games, which isn't that many, but if you've played enough of these kinds of rhythm games, uh, you're usually not actually looking directly at the bar. You're trying to make sure you're being aware of the whole space, kind of, or looking more in the middle, and then just timing it correctly. And so, it covering that up doesn't matter. At least not too much.
Also, the to do li li I mean, like, it's so important to see it, especially in the peripheral vision. And the to do list isn't completely covering it up, it's just mostly covering it up. And he slams into a thing, and that's how we got our hat back. And look at the derby. Oh, I, l I love how cute the goose looks like in these, like, s story mode things. Then over here in free play, the eraser is the extra song, the extra special song Three, two, one, called go. desktop. <laughs> like you have to actually physically close those windows. Or you can just leave them open and ignore them. Either or. Yeah, if I rem if I am knowledgeable enough, I think the reference of the desktop is that um, someone made like uh, an application desktop buddy thing, where it would give you the goose from untitled goose on your desktop, and it would just mess around. It would like move around your windows and just cause just be literally annoying. Oh god, I didn't get back to the keyboard in time. But yeah, it was a, it's a really silly, fun, and cool application that you, you're literally just downloading an application to make it harder to use your computer, basically, and it's funny. And I'm pretty sure that's what this is in reference of. Was there not more? There we go. And then it does that. <laughs> which might trick some people, which would be kind of funny. Um, and there you go. The Untitled Goose Mod thing. You should definitely go play it for yourself. See, I mean, you could probably do better than me. I don't know. Get some full combos and whatnot, 100% stuff. Uh, but yeah, the link for the download would be in the description. Uh, you're gonna need the physics engine, so I'll put that in the description as well. Um, and yeah, so go, you should go download those, support them, all that kind of stuff. Definitely go do that. And uh, I guess you could also check out my other stuff as well, but that, that's not that important. Um, and I'll see you later. Bye! <laughs>